Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and I have a semi-short video for you today. It is not a WordPress tutorial, I guess you noticed that by now, but it is a tutorial I had a request for, I think it was yesterday. Not really a request for, but he asked, how can you do this? And I was like, well, you do it like this, but I'll make a video over it anyway. Um, I did not come up with this idea, this is not my solution this is i got it from a list apart which i mean you can hate me all you want to but <laughs> i didn't invent wordpress and i'm teaching that too so um they have the idea that to create a an iframe video that's going to have the exact same aspect ratio you have to get the math correct and the math's not that difficult but it's just a it's just something you have to kind of figure out right well, not figure it out, but you have, to, you have to know it before you just go in and start doing it. But why can't you just set the iframe to be full width of the container? You see I have a diff class with a video container, and then I have the iframe inside of that. Why can I not just set the, the iframe to be 100% of the container and problem solved? Uh, well, just because you can't. The iframe has a default width and a default height. If you set a width, the height will still be default. If you go in and say, well, I want 500 pixels for the height, well, it's going to be 500 pixels tall now. It's not going to be, it's not going to resize and match the aspect ratio. So you said it's too, well, I want it to be, blah, 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 blah. well, it's just not going to work. You, there's a simple way to do it, and I will show you how to do it now. The first thing is to set up your video container to be relative. Because you want the the children of this container, which in this case will be the, the video, the iframe, to flow based on a uh, relative to this container. And then what we want to do is set the video uh, iframe to be width 100%. Now before I save that, I want to show you what the video looks like right now. Right now, without any values defined, we have a video that is, like, I'm sure it's 300 by 150 because that's the default iframe sizes. But that's not good. If we control S this and refresh, I don't want to say control S and not just save, but I say control S this because that's what I do. We have a full width video, but you'll notice we do not have a full height video. The video is just extremely wide, but it will respond with the browser. So we're getting there, right? That's kind of cool but it won't work for anything ever. So how can we make it the right height? Well, can I just come in here and say height 100%? Sure you can, but it won't work. Refresh, nothing changed. Why did nothing change? Well, watch this. The math we're going to do is we're going to add a padding to the bottom of the container. What that'll do is it will make it 56.25% higher right so that's the math done you do 9 divided by 16 and you get 56.25 percent so if we do that if we do that real quick I'll show you padding on the bottom 56.25 percent now if you want to see the magic behind all this go over to alistapart.com slash article slash creating intrinsic ratios for video I will have that link in the description this is the guy I'm assuming this is the original because uh, a lot of their stuff's pretty awesome. 2009, so I mean it's been around for a while. Uh, check this out. He's—they always have some cool stuff for you to look at. So we Control S on that, or I'm just gonna start saying save that. You know, Control S is save. Refresh the page. Nothing happens. Hmm. Why does nothing happen? Well, if we set this iframe to a position of of absolute, it will then ignore the padding. What, so what's going on right now? We have the extra height. The the video container has the extra height. If I had a background of red and refresh, you'll see the video has the or the container has the extra height we need. How cool is that? So it's actually responding correctly, but the video is still set to that that default height. Why is it doing that? Because we added a padding and not a height. The padding doesn't free up the space the padding takes up. The padding takes up space. So we have to actually make our video ignore that padding. And there's a way we can do that. We can set this position to absolute. 
that will ignore the normal flow, that will ignore the height restriction the padding has set. Come here, or hit Control S first, and come to the browser, and refresh, and bingo, we have it. We have it. Boom, the video is resizing with the browser. If we play it, you'll see the, the Chrome, the, the interface, is working fine. If you have a video player that has a static Chrome, a, a static interface where the play and the pause button and everything is, then you want to make up for that too. But we don't because our interface on the new YouTube actually overlays the video. I apologize for the audio. Actually overlays the video and then it'll drop down once your mouse goes off of it. So the video is still the same size even with the player. So that's cool. Now, what if you want to set a, a restriction on the width? You don't want it to be any wider than the container it's in, right? Well, if I could just come in here and say, I want the oh, I want the width to be no longer or no wider than 500 pixels, that could save our problem, right? Well, if I, if I refresh this, you'll see we still have the container being the correct width, but the video is set to a restricted 500 pixels. And it resizes correctly, but the video is it still has a 100% height, so it did not maintain the aspect ratio. Well, there's one solution that, again, not my solution, I'm just showing you guys how to do it, would be to add a container around this. Are you serious? Okay, so add a container around the div video container. I'll give this class just an, another container. close that diff. Now if we come in here we say another container. Now yours, you may not have to add another container because you will have like your content container. So I mean I don't though because I don't have any content on this website. It's just a, it's just a video. So on another container we're going to add a width. Let's add a max width. Max width of 500 pixels. I want to remove this from that there. Control S. Now, are you ready for this? Refresh. Boom. 500 pixels and the correct height. If we go down, oh, if we miss click, open up, come on. Okay. If we go down to the video, look at that. So there you go. Whoever asked that question yesterday, I know I gave you a very vague answer, but um, that's how you do it right there I hope to be able to do more of these videos in the future I like the short short and sweet kind of videos it gets a lot of information out there but it's it's just right on topic yeah so I am Austin and I will see you next time